Hello South Africa. Today is Tuesday, July 26, 2022 and here are the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Things you need to know about the family meeting. President Cyril Ramaphosa addressed the nation about the country's energy crisis on Monday evening. Here are things that you should know from the family meeting. Over time, the maintenance program of Eskom's electricity generation fleet has declined. It has now been decided that over the next 12 months, Eskom will increase the budget allocated for critical maintenance to increase the reliability of its generation capacity. Red tape that has made it difficult for Eskom to buy maintenance spares and equipment within the required period to effect repairs has been cut. One of the challenges that Eskom has faced has been the shortage of skilled personnel and engineers. The utility is now recruiting skilled personnel, including former senior Eskom plant managers and engineers from the private sector. Ramaphosa plans to spend on energy crisis despite Eskom's debt. President Cyril Ramaphosa has listed the government's plans to turn around the ongoing power crisis in the country. And this includes more spending on the power utility, despite its huge R400 billion debt. In his national address on Monday morning, he said one of his priorities is to fix Eskom while providing the country with the required power. This includes a list of purchasing and procuring equipment and energy to add more power to the national grid. South Africans urged to invest in rooftop solar with new rules and a pricing structure. President Cyril Ramaphosa said they intend to enable businesses and households to invest in rooftop solar to generate electricity. He said South Africa has a great abundance of sun that should be used to generate electricity. There is significant potential for households and businesses to install rooftop solar and connect this power to the grid. To incentivize greater uptake of rooftop solar, Eskom will develop rules and a pricing structure, known as a feed-in tariff, for all commercial and residential installations on its network. President Cyril Ramaphosa Looting reported in Durban during large-scale protests It's been confirmed that multiple incidents of looting have taken place in Durban on Monday morning after a citywide protest ended up closing off a number of key commuter routes. However, it's understood that those involved in opportunistic crimes are not linked to taxi drivers. The protest is being led by the taxi industry, who are demonstrating against tighter regulation and high fuel prices. A cocktail of unsavory developments have pushed these drivers to the brink, and they have responded by shutting down large sections of the Durban CBD. Kettlehong Tavern Shooter Confirmed as a Metro Police Officer the Kettlehong Tavern shooter where two people died on the scene on July 8, 2022 has reportedly been confirmed as a Metro Police officer. Earlier this month it was reported that four gun-wielding men entered the Mput Lane in Tavern. They demanded a firearm and began shooting randomly at patrons, six people were shot, two died at the scene and two were taken to hospital. Police revealed that they had arrested one suspect who was expected to appear before the Palm Ridge Magistrates Court on Monday, July 25th. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.